All right, I've showed these filters and uh, I did open one up, like I said. So I traced the circuit out and uh, it's an interesting um, filter made out of capacitors and inductors. And in order to make a bandpass, you make a, a high pass section and a low pass section. And then you, you put those two sections together and it, it makes a bandpass. So, so here's, here's the uh, uh, high pass section, here's the low pass section, and together they make a, they make a bandpass filter, like I said. So, um, since I have a bunch of these, I wanted to show a concept in filter design. And if you can have one filter, maybe two filters is better. And we see that in certain designs. And in particular, uh, the one I've been looking at lately is the Tiny SA. And the Tiny SA uses two filters and they use them back to back. So it's the same filter, but it's back to back. So why would you, why wouldn't you just, you know, buy a better filter or design a better filter? It uh, looks like they even have some stuff on the outside of this filter. You know, why can't you just, why can't you just deal with one? And I want to show you why uh, two filters is way better than one filter. So let's go over to the, uh, let's go over to the analyzer. Uh, okay, so I'm going to be showing one filter and then I'm going to be showing two filters. Um, so let's look at one filter in circuit. And we've seen this before. So this is what the one filter looks like. And uh, it's great. It's, uh, let's see here, 10, 20, 30, 40 dB. And then we have a bunch of out of, ba out of band ringing. And so that's very uh, common in filter design is that you get out of band ringing, uh, depending on the filter architecture. But uh, this one has a lot of out of bound ringing. Um, so sometimes, even though bandwidth may be important to you, a lot of times band rejection is more important. Not necessarily the width, but the out of band rejection is the most important thing. So now let's take a look at two filters um, in series. So now we see the out of band rejection is perfect. Just perfect, it's killed it, killed it, killed it. So now we're at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, almost 60 dB of rejection uh, of all the out of band stuff. So, uh, so two, two, two filters, two filters is better than one filter. It did get narrower too, but uh, the main thing here is the killing the out of band rejection. Okay, so I've uh, mentioned before that uh, this filter um, is a bandpass filter, which means it's half high pass, half low pass that are matched together. And uh, from the schematic here, uh, you can see that the upper section is a bunch of series uh, capacitors, which means that it's uh, easy for high frequencies to go through and it's more difficult for low frequency to go through. And then the bottom section, there's a bunch of inductors and it's easy for the low frequency to go through, but it's high, hard for the high frequency to go through. So what I've done is I've taken two of the uh, filters and I've cut that wire that goes between the top section and the bottom section. So I've bypassed it. So uh, I've made one entirely just the top section and I've made one entirely just the bottom section. So let's take a look at those two. Uh, this is the bandpass filter in its entirety. So let me take our first, our first culprit here, which I uh, surgically removed half of the filter and put that in. And magically, it looks like it's the high pass section. All right. And then we will put in the other one, which I've surgically removed the other half. Ta-da! And it is the low pass section. So there you go. So one high pass plus one low pass equals a band pass.